Hi, and welcome to our toot on customising PD's camera view slideshow. The standard camera slideshow template has a muted background and frilly frames, which may or may not suit your needs. Those background and frames are stored in the Camera Slideshow folder. If we go to Start, Computer, C Drive, Program Files, Cyberlink, Power Director, Slideshow and Camera View, we can see the image files. The Photo Frames folder has the frames and masks for the template and the background images are stored in the Background folder. We need to know that to be able to customise the template. In Camera View, the background is divided into 16 panels and the slideshow shifts from one panel to an adjacent one. It's seamless because the background panels are all part of one image. Maybe that muted leafy background isn't what you want. Any high resolution image can be used and we're going to show you how. Let's use that Blue Earth picture. The first thing we need to do is split it into 16 equal panels. You can do it manually, but we're using some software called Image Cut, which makes the task simpler. After opening the image, we set up a 4x4 grid at the correct points. There's a bit of maths involved to get it right. Now the picture is ready to be split into panels. These have to be saved in JPEG format. Image Cut places the split panels into a folder just as we'd do manually. OK, the next step is to rename the panels in exactly the same way that PD does. They're named in order BK11, 12, 13 and so on, all the way to BK26. To replicate PD's template, BK11 has to be duplicated and renamed to 0BK11. Now all the background panels are almost ready to be used in PowerDirector. The only thing left to do is rename the containing folder to Background. That's done and we're ready to put our folder where it belongs. We navigate to that Camera View folder inside the PD Slideshow folder, then copy our new background folder and paste it with the other Camera View files. To use it in PD, the folder needs to be named simply Background. That's the folder PD looks for. Great, let's try it out in PD. After importing and inserting the images, select them and click Slideshow. Then Camera. PD generates a slideshow using our new background panels. Tweaking it is easy, just click Customise. If you're happy with how it looks, click Next, then Finish and OK. Now you have a slideshow with your own customised background. Photo frames can be modified too, but we'll leave that for another time. Here are some examples of camera view slideshows made using custom backgrounds. Our PD Toots subscribers can download all of the background and frame sets you see here, the whole kit and caboodle. Just send us a PM.
The names displayed here are the same as in the subscribers giveaway package. There's a useful README file you can download too, containing written instructions for customising backgrounds and frames. The link is in the video description. OK, thank you very much for taking the time to watch. If you haven't subscribed yet, it's quite painless and you'll have access to some great freebies. Bye for now and happy editing from the PD Toots team.